Hey guys! So today I'm going to be reviewing Revel's Sensitive Dip Liquids along with their lamp. Now you're probably wondering, what are these? What are they used for? Why are they called sensitive dip liquids? And I will explain. Now, if you go onto Revel's website and you go to the sensitive dip liquids, they have everything explaining what these are, what they're used for, what they were pretty much made for. So I'm going to go ahead and just read off exactly what these are for. So this says, our sensitive dip powder liquid line is the perfect solution for those who have sensitivity or reactions when using traditional dip powder liquids. Some people call this reaction the dip flu. Revel Nails sensitive dip powder li liquids were carefully developed and tested to allow users to continue to create beautiful and long lasting manicures without having to experience dip flu symptoms. During testing, 100% of users noticed a reduction of dip flu symptoms, and 80% of users experienced no dip flu symptoms when using our sensitive dip powder liquids. The system is odorless and provides the same long-lasting results of traditional dip liquids. The sensitive gel top coat is hemp-free, provides a yeah, provides a flawless finish after curing under UV slash LED light. So to sum all of that up, this is essentially made to help reduce um, those dip flu symptoms. Now, the reactions that you can get from dip flu are pretty much like flu symptoms. So it's coughing, sneezing, headaches, congestion, things like that. Um, when I first started using dip powder, I never had a reaction. Uh, and then it wasn't until I think about a year or so ago that I started to develop a reaction from using it. And essentially the reaction that I get from it is just allergy symptoms. I'm just sneezing and I'm a bit congested. Um, so I wanted to try these out to see if that would help reduce slash remove those symptoms that I get because it does get kind of annoying when I do a set of dip powder and then I'm basically dealing with allergies after using it. Now let's just quickly talk about how much this costs. So if you just want the liquids by themselves, it's $32.99. And then if you want the liquids with the lamp, it is $49.99. Now when I bought these, they were on sale for $45. So I only had to pay $45 for these. Um, so it is kind of pricey, uh, but I think that's just because there's a gel top coat with it and because of the fact that there's only one ingredient in the base. And I will go ahead and just do a little comparison for you guys so you can kind of see and understand why this would help reduce slash remove the symptoms of dip flu. So up here we have Revel's regular dip powder liquid system. And then down here is Revel's sensitive dip liquid system. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick comparison when it comes to the ingredients. Uh, ignore the fact that these look like this. I have no idea why they look like that. Um, I guess this just means that they're well loved, but anyway. So the ingredients in this have a ton of stuff that I can't read. Um, and then in here, in the sensitive dip liquids, it only has one ingredient. Um, now I did open this up and take a little whiff of it, uh, and it doesn't really smell like anything, whereas this smells like strongly of like nail glue. So I think that's what helps with the sensitivity um, to help like reduce it slash remove it is having this having pretty much just only one ingredient in it and not really having any sort of smell to it. Whereas this has several ingredients in it and has a very strong um, nail glue kind of smell. Now the activators have the same amount of gradients in them. So, or have the same exact gradients in them from what it looks like. So there really isn't any difference between these two. So honestly, I think you could still use this with this and it would be fine. Uh, and then in the top coats, 
They're obviously very different because this is a blue-based top coat and then this is a gel top coat. So this, you have to use a lamp to cure it, hence why I bought the lamp. Uh, and this, you just pretty much let it air dry like nail polish. Um, but this has that strong glue smell to it because of the fact that it's like a glue-based top coat. Whereas this is a regular gel top coat. Um, so the only smell that it has is that just gel polish kind of smell. Now the application process of these compared to the regular dip powder liquids is essentially the same. The only difference is that at the end, you're applying a gel top coat. Um, and this is not a non-wipe top coat. So this is going to have that sticky inhibition layer. Uh, and they have their instructions on their website. So you can go ahead and have a look at that. But you just wanna make sure that after you've cured this, that you just take a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol and just clean off that sticky inhibition layer to reveal the shine of the top coat. So let's now have a quick little look at the lamp. When you open it up, you get the instructions and like, you know, the safety things and whatnot. Um, and then you obviously get the lamp. Uh, you also have the cord, which plugs in on the back over here. So the lamp has a lot of fun little things with it. <laughs> so this is actually a handle, which is really nice. Um, so that you don't have to like carry it around like this. You can just hold this up and carry it around that way. Uh, and I really like the design of the handle because when you put it back down, it's flush to the lamp, which is really nice. Um, it has this little slit up here, which you're probably wondering, what is that for? Well, that is for your phone, which I think is super cool. I actually did not know that this came with that. Um, I just bought the lamp because I was, you know, buying the liquid. So I was like, hey, might as well use the lamp with the liquids, you know, use the products with the products. Um, so I literally had no idea that this had like a little phone slot in it, which I think is really cool. Uh, the bottom you can remove. It's, oh, there we go. The bottom you can remove so that you can do pedicures and whatnot, which I am very excited for. I love my Kira Sky at home lamp. It's super cute and it's powerful, but sadly I can't really do pedicures with it. It's just, it's too small. So I'm very excited about this. Um, as you can see on the top here, it has several um, options. It has a 10 second, a 30 second, a 60 second, and a 99 second option. Um, the lamp is uh, motion censored, so when you put your hand in, the light will come on and a timer will come up here. I'll go ahead and show you guys. And you can also just select um, whatever setting you want to do before sticking your hand in there. Or I think you can also um, just select it when your hand's already in there. And then there will be a countdown of that amount of time. So... Yeah, I will go ahead and plug this in and just quickly show you guys that. I just really quickly wanted to show you guys this. This has a little light on it when you plug it in. So yeah, that's really nice. So that you know that it's on and it's working and whatnot. So as you can see, I have plugged this in. When I stick my hand in there, a timer comes up and then it turns off when you take your hand out, which is really nice. Um, when I put my hand back in here again, and if I select an option, there's a countdown for that so that you know how much time you have on this instead of just kind of sitting there waiting for it to turn off. So you can also just select it again um, and it will turn itself off. There we go. <laughs> you gotta do it a couple of times, but it does eventually turn itself off. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm very excited to use this. So now that the unboxing and explaining and whatnot is out of the way, we can go ahead and get into using everything. Now I do really quickly just wanna say this. I may use these a couple of times um, so that I am giving a full on honest review and whatnot. Uh, even though I do experience the dip flu after doing my nails with dip powder, um, I'm thinking I may just want to use this a couple of times um, just to really experiment and see if these actually reduce slash remove those symptoms of dip flu. 
So I don't know how well y'all are gonna be able to tell. Um, but yesterday I swatched uh, a nail. It was dip powder color. Um, and I swatched it using just the regular dip method. Uh, it's currently the next day. I woke up with my nose a little bit stuffy. Um, my throat feels dry for whatever reason. Don't really know why. Um, I've been sneezing and whatnot. I don't know if you guys can even like hear it or tell like in my voice, um, but that's just the dip flu symptoms that I get when I use dip powder. So again, I don't really know how well you guys can tell. I can just feel it. Um, so we will see if that, um, those sensitive dip liquids actually help reduce these symptoms. Uh, again, don't really know if you guys can even hear it or, or tell, but it is affecting me, so. <laughs> Hello, so I did my aunt's nails yesterday and um, last night the symptoms started to hit. Um, so I was sniffling and sneezing and you can probably tell now that I'm like a bit congested and I've been sneezing like all morning. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, um, but yeah, the dip flu symptoms are definitely a thing and they definitely affect me. So I'm going to be doing my nails today though with the um, sensitive dip liquids. So I'm hoping I'll be able to like tell if it's reduced the symptoms or not, especially because I'm dealing with the symptoms right now. Um, we'll see, but I might have to use those a couple of times. Um, I feel this thing's coming on. <laughs> Uh, I might have to use those a couple of times just to actually see if they do anything or if they actually like work the way that they say that they work. Uh, so yeah. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I applied and prepped my nail tips off camera. If you want to know how I do that, I will link both of those videos down in the description box below. Uh, but after that, I went ahead and I applied Bond, and then I'm just going to be doing my usual application process. I have a detailed video on how I apply dip powder, so if you want to see that, I will also link that video down in the description box below. But other than that, you can just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> So something I did find, and I mentioned this later on in the video, is that the base doesn't dry as quickly, which is nice because then you can take your time with it and you don't have to use as much product. However, if you're like me and you would like to um, work on one nail at a time, so like I will, uh, you'll see here, I apply one layer and then I go back in and I apply another layer right away. And because of that, um, I found that because the base doesn't dry as quickly, um, it was smearing my color because it was still drying the first layer underneath. So if you're like me and you do that, um, definitely just work on one nail at a time and then just go back and, you know, apply your other layers rather than applying all of your layers on one nail and then moving on to the next nail and applying all the layers to that nail and so on and so forth. So something else that I should note, and I also mentioned this later on in the video, is that if you get base, if you get this base in particular on your skin, 
and you don't wipe it off before dipping your nail into the powder, uh, you will see here that when I wipe it off, there's a wrinkling effect that ends up happening. And it's just because this base doesn't dry as quickly as a regular dip powder base does. So if you get it on your skin, wipe it off before you dip your nail into the powder because otherwise you get this wrinkling effect. Um, I do mention that I was able to file it off, which I was, but it was just more work for me to have to do um, because of the fact that I didn't wipe the base off before dipping my nail into the powder. Now the activator is the same as a, like the activator that they normally have for these dip powder sets. Uh, so you can literally just use your regular activator with this. However, it does mention to wait like a, like two minutes or something um, for the nails to dry. And I think it's just because of the fact that this base doesn't dry as quickly. So I definitely gave my nails a couple minutes to dry before I did my filing and shaping and whatnot. Now, one last thing that I want to know is that this product is very soft. Um, the base somehow makes it softer, and I think it's just because it only has one chemical in it and it doesn't dry as quickly in the whole nine yards. So it is easy to file, which is great, but it's also not great because if you have a tendency to file too much, um, which I tend to accidentally do a lot, uh, you will end up filing a lot of the product off. So that is just something that you should keep in mind when you are applying it and when you're filing them. So I cut this part out of the video, but as you can see, I applied the top coat on my thumb first and then applied it to the rest of my fingers, which was a huge mistake because this gel top coat is extremely runny. Um, and when I went back to my thumb, it had like run all over the place. So definitely apply it to your thumb last and not first, uh, cause you don't want that running all over your fingers. You definitely don't want gel on your skin and whatnot, especially cured gel. So definitely apply it to your thumb last. <laughs> So in the instructions on their website, they have you apply two coats of this top coat and to cure in between each coat. Uh, and then to take a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol or a lint free wipe and some rubbing alcohol um, and remove the inhibition layer, which is what I did. Uh, not a fan of this top coat though. It was extremely runny and I don't like the fact that you have to remove an inhibition layer. So honestly, you would be better off using a non wipe top coat because those tend to be a little bit thicker um, and you don't have to remove an inhibition layer. But after I did that, I applied cuticle oil and this is what they looked like. Hello, so ignore how I look. Um, there was a couple of things about the liquids that I wanted to quickly cover, talk about, whichever word you want to use. Um, that I think might be important for you guys to know. So the base definitely doesn't dry as fast as like a regular dip powder base does, which is nice because then you can take more of your time when applying it. And you also don't have to use as much base because of the fact that it doesn't dry very quickly. Um, as you saw in one of the clips though, because it does take a little bit longer to dry, if you get any of the base on your skin and then like try to take it off like afterwards, um, there was like a bit of a wrinkling effect, which was odd, but I was able to just like file that off. Um, and then even though it says that the base is odorless, uh, there was the tiny hint of like a nail polish smell to it, which I thought was interesting, um, but it didn't bother me at all. And again, it was like, you could barely smell it. Like it, you couldn't really smell it at all. Um, and then the top coat, the top coat definitely has an interesting smell to it. It's a gel top coat, but 
Usually gel top coats have a rather distinctive smell and this gel top coat just smelled kind of weird. Um, and it's also definitely a little bit more liquidy than like a regular gel top coat. So you definitely don't want to apply a lot. You wanna just apply a little bit, which you should do with gel polish anyways. Um, but I was finding that when I was applying it, it was kind of running around a lot. So definitely use a little bit. <laughs> but other than those things, um, I did like it actually. I thought I wasn't, I mean, when I first started like applying it, I was like, I don't know if I really like this, um, but I do like it. So I will continue to use it just to really experiment and see does this stuff reduce um, the symptoms of the dip flu. Right now I'm fine. Um, I'm a little bit congested, but that's just because of doing my ant's nails yesterday. Um, but other than that, I'm fine. I guess we'll see how I am later tonight because that's usually when the symptoms start to hit. Uh, but other than that, I'm not dealing with any symptoms right now, so. So I didn't end up recording this because I forgot because my week was extremely nuts. Uh, but for the next couple of days, after I did my nails, I was super sniffly and congested and sneezing a lot. Like I was having the usual symptoms that I have when I do a set of dip powder nails. And I think it's just because I did my ants nails the day before using regular dip powder liquids. So I was not able to tell if the sensitive dip liquids actually were reducing my symptoms or not. So I definitely had to use these a couple of times to actually see if my symptoms would be reduced or not. So I just got up, as you can probably tell, um, but I had a client yesterday and I used the sensitive dip liquids on her. Um, I was slightly sniffling last night when I was trying to sleep. Um, I'm a little bit like sniffling and congested this morning, but not as bad as how I normally be with doing a dip powder set. So I think they work. I'm still going to use it, I think like two or three more times, uh, just to really see if it does actually reduce the symptoms. Hello. So I have done three dip powder sets, three days in a row. Uh, and each time I use the sensitive dip liquids. Um, I'm a little bit like sniffly today. I was sneezing a bit yesterday um, and I'm kind of just like sniffly today, but I think those things really do work with helping to reduce the symptoms because I think if I just used like the regular dip powder liquids, um, I would be like extremely congested right now and sneezing a lot and whatnot. So I definitely do think that they work and I will continue to use them. So yeah, recommend them if you don't want, um, or if you get reactions from the dip powder. In conclusion, these sensitive dip liquids do really work and I do recommend them if you struggle with dip flu because dip flu is not fun. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this little review video, then hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys get notified as new videos that I upload. If it even works, and if it doesn't work, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, where not only if you guys add new videos that I upload, but that's also where I share my work that you guys normally wouldn't see here in these videos. So I hope you like this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!